It's time for Washington Fish Side Quest. This episode, Mushroom Hunting with Vaughn Precision. Hey Washington Fish Questers, Blake here. Well, I'm up in the Capitol Forest with my buddy Kurt Vaughn of Vaughn Precision. Uh, he has a great YouTube channel and uh, it helps basically shooters and hunters uh, kind of get to the apex of, you know, precision shooting. At any rate, I'm up here with him and his son Cody. Uh, we're walking around for grouse uh, and also chanterelles. Uh, no grouse so far. Luckily, those chanterelles are a lot easier to shoot. So uh, I just figured I'd uh, I just walked back to the car because we forgot our bags and I forgot my knife to harvest them. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go go rejoin the group and uh, get into the harvest here. And this is pretty early for chanterelles, I think. You know, I'm no pro, but this is basically very very early October. Well, looks like I was, looks like I missed the party. Got plenty of mushrooms here. Oh, there's Cody handing Kurt a, uh, oh my gosh, yeah, that's plenty for three. That's plenty, plus we still got that other pile that we left on the side of the trail back there. Oh, wow. So yeah, So if we, we can just get some grouse now, we'll be eating good. They are, right? There's, and there's actually a bunch more down here too, you know, and uh, Kurt and Cody called off the, called off the Sheehan Trail hunting you know because we just we got all we need and you're just supposed to kind of take as much as you can personally use you shouldn't be coming out with like buckets of them you know oh there's the rain yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it looks like it'll be a really good year all right so i uh, i was absolutely did absolutely nothing this trip but uh one thing i can do is i'll brush them off here <laughs> with my little my little two inch paintbrush that i bring you know my buddy lee in that first episode he had a really cool knife where it was uh it was like half a knife and there's like brush off the back. You oh know? yeah, those but, are nice. Yeah. I, I want to order one of those. Yeah, no, those are great. Yeah, but all I got is this little, little paintbrush, but it's, uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty nice. You know, I just take them and brush them off there. We got so many, I'm not, I'm not going to fool around with this for long, but yeah, just at least get the small gunk off. All right, I did a video on this last year, but uh, since I was so late to the action, uh, you know, when looking for these chanterelles, uh, you know, Lee taught me to, you know, there's... Uh, they're often off the trail because you know you'll basically the spores will get spread that way just people walking by and if you see one you, you'll probably get into a bunch more uh you know they look down and up up's usually easier we found these down though i don't know how kurt got on them exactly but he how'd you how'd you find those uh mushrooms kurt when I mean, you just go down and start kicking <laughs> no i i was actually just walking the path here and i looked over and i saw just one thing of orange i thought it could have been a leaf because we got some changes in fall right now but I saw one thing orange and I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, there's more than one. That was, that was how I found them. Nice. And just, uh, was it, was it salali down there? Or? there yeah, a lot of salal. A bunch of salal, yeah. okay, you're right. I do find that I find a lot more mushrooms in the salal versus like ferns. I've been told it's with the acidity of the soil. I don't even know if that's true, but, uh, but they're in the salal. That's for sure. They're just harder to find in the salal. Nah, my mushroom research has shown that there's a lot of things hard to prove. <laughs> but no, I agree. That's where I've found them more commonly too is the salal for sure now if we can find a grouse all right so we're we're walking here looking for either uh the grouse jumps at and charges us or uh you know we're, we're also looking for lobster mushrooms kurt said he's seen some in this area before and you can always get your complimentary beer can yeah i was gonna say we uh Usually bush is the more common uh, of the variety of these cans, but here's a Modelo, so the classy part of uh, the Capital Forest, I guess. <laughs> oh yeah, but as I was saying, uh, Kurt was mentioning to me that uh, he thinks that the... So I, I'm, I know Jack about hunting, and I'm super grateful that Kurt's taken me out and we went out shooting yesterday and had a blast. See what I did there? At any rate... Nice <laughs> plug. Yeah. At, at any rate... Uh, uh, he was telling me that he thinks that the grass, uh, you know, might not might not make an appearance because it's kind of foggy and theoretically maybe they don't like to come down to the road to get the gravel to fill their gizzards, you know, to uh, when it's they can't see so good. Yeah, hopefully we'll spot some lobster mushrooms. Uh, yeah, they're orange. Really give themselves away. I'm named lobster because they're both of that color, you know. I guess they can be kind of purple too, but 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 anyway, the good ones are orange and they taste kind of seafoody, kind of like a Shellfish almost. Cody here just found a, found us a lobster. 
Got one lobster. Six to eight inches. Well, that's a little guy. Yeah, like a bright orange. I was just confirming with Kurt that yeah, it's actually it's crusty. Oh, yeah. Is that a good one? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Just dig down in, underneath there, and I don't want to hit your head with my gun. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So apparently these lobster mushrooms are parasitic. It's a parasitic fungus that turns other mushrooms, but it actually makes the mushroom taste a lot better. And what you're looking for with them is you want like a nice heavy one. I'm told and. They don't want it to like stink like uh, seafood too bad, you know. It's like yeah, super right. fragrant. Smell like dirt. Yeah, it smells like dirt. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. yeah feel that, Blake. It's, uh, oh, it's, it's really rough. rough. Oh yeah. It's the old Rodney Dangerfield of mushrooms. It's rough, I tell you. <laughs> probably, probably ain't gonna respect either. But uh, yeah. All right. Cool. Well, right on. Yeah, we'd go, Cody. Cody spotted another one here. It looked kind of gross. You know, I thought it was like mushy and stuff, but it's still firm. It looks like it actually just came up is why it sort of looks rough. Oh, yeah, that's nice and firm. Yeah, the roots, yeah, come right down. Go ahead. Oh, you make it. oh yeah, there we go. That's a bigger one too, that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Looks that's great. Big one. Yeah, I love the color on those. clean that up, but yeah, looking good. Hey, Washington and Fish Questers, Blake here. I'm in my kitchen. Please excuse the sound of the dishwasher there going behind me. Anyway, I'm just here cleaning me mushrooms. Uh, you know, got a lot of chanterelles, as you saw from the video. And Kurt and Cody were super nice and gave me both of those lobster mushrooms. So at any rate, uh, I'll, I'll be doing more videos. And Kurt and I have been wanting to do a collaboration for a, a couple of years, I think. So, that, so that's uh, why I decided to pull the camera out of the truck there mid-trip. So if you want to see more uh, mushroom hunting, let me know in the comments. If you want to see more uh, regular hunting, let me know in the comments. However, please know I am like learning to hunt. I'm going out with like more experienced folks, you know, just so I, uh, you know, and, you know, can learn and, and safe and know, and know all that good stuff, you know. Uh, so big thanks to, to Kurt and Cody there for mentoring me a bit today. So if you want to see, you know, fun, fun guy, you know, if you want to see hunting, just let me know in the comments. Thanks so much and see you next time on whatever type of video uh, you, you want, want to do and I feel like shooting. <laughs>